Okay, so it's been about a month since the train derailed in East Palestine, Ohio. So I wanted to shoot a quick video just to let people know where my head's at on this topic and really to explain why I don't believe that there's a massive cover up underway as it pertains to drinking water, the water coming out of people's faucets. I don't believe that this is a Flint situation because in Flint, what happened is there are water quality data that were being withheld from the public. OK, the reason why this could happen in Flint is because you have to you have to realize that in Flint, what we're talking about is lead contamination and lead contamination comes from the pipes, not the water supply. So it creates a situation in Flint where your lead levels at your home are not the same as your neighbor because you may have lead in your pipes or, you know, maybe your neighbor has a lead service pipe and you don't. In East Palestine, the type of contamination that would come from this type of spill is actually something that if it were to be the case, it would contaminate the entire municipal drinking water supply. So your measurement would be the same as your neighbor. Um, I do have confidence that Ohio's EPA and the municipality are doing a good job on sampling both the intake water and the finished water. And I don't believe that there's actually a way that they could cover this up in the same way that took place in Flint. So what that means is if you're on municipal water, I wouldn't be taking any individual actions right now. I'd be looking at the data coming out of your municipality. Now, if you're on a private well, this is a different situation because private wells in that area tend to be a little bit shallower than the municipal drinking water wells. So what that means is the contamination could hit the shallow wells before it hits the deeper wells. If I were on a private well in East Palestine and in that general area where the train derailed, I would be testing my water for uh, VOCs and synthetic organic contaminants. And I'd be doing it, I'd be doing it regularly as well. I'd be doing it every month or three months because with groundwater contamination, it doesn't always pop up quickly and it doesn't pop up uniformly because depending on where the contamination comes in, in into contact with the groundwater, that will actually indicate where that plume is and the plume may not hit everyone all at once. So that's where I'm at right now. As a scientist, if new data were to come out, um, I'll make sure to kind of update my opinion on this, but thank you for listening.